Every one of them, you fight all of them. Hey. What's cracking, G? It's your boy Cooper. You already know my channel about love, life, and loyalty. And I got a little information piece, a little informative piece for y'all today. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. They ain't let the GDs through the door, but they let Bronin me. Damn, they got them GDs out there, boy. Uh. God, nigga, I'm finna go spend a hundred thousand on nothing, nigga. Brother is doing a little too much on trying to be at war with me. I don't want nothing to do with him. I don't want nothing to do with him. I'm not finna be going back and forth with him about whatever he want because I know this is his Super Bowl. This is this is his big moment to shine. All right, y'all. So we got Corey Hulk on 5150 show. And him and Marcus, you know, Marcus, one of his old, you know, co-hosts, you know, gonna say one of his little rappies, you know, used to be on the show for five years with him, one of his the little guys. They beefing now. And the reason why they beefing is because Corey got really badly injured on the scooter and Marcus made a video clowning him. And now Corey airing them out, Marcus airing them out. So we'll go ahead and check it out. What? And so the whole time I've been using my camera. So Marcus don't got no cameras, you know? So as soon as I saw the other dude there, I was like, all right, I, it looks like he already chose up. So I was like, all right, I just bounced. And what's hilarious about this was who cameras he used? The, the cameras that Marcus used last week were the cameras that Corey had given Marcus for like the first like three months of the of the mainstream show. I, I just want while the motherfuckers shit know me and motherfuckers talking shit about me, I'm here to tell you, man. I'm here to tell you, man, that's the last motherfucker who should ever be shitting on Corey Oakham. And I swear to God, I told Abe, I said, okay, you want to do the birthday show? That's cool, man. In fact, that's stand up. But I said to Abe, but you watch how motherfuckers shit on me? I'm telling you, they do you the same way. And show sure enough, after all you've done over there. Man, every week, no days off, you know? Two, two and a half years, so. Hey. Did somebody else want you to do their show too? Yeah, of course. Everybody, everybody wants me mm -hmm. to do their show. Hey. After all that, you still got shitted on just like me. Yeah. yeah. You and, and you know the response gonna be, oh, I didn't do nothing. They did something. Woo, woo, woo. Never no grace like, all right, you right. I fucking, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I had my disagreement with that man, but that man basically gave me a career from uber to motherfucking having a goddamn career opportunity in this game i ain't even gonna lie i tried not to say nothing but when i heard what happened to you i was like ain't that a bitch shit it on youtube yeah yeah i mean but i knew i, I knew that you know people in the chat were gonna say that eventually. you're not mad are you Nah, I'm not mad either no because I know how this shit go. Everybody that fucking Somebody do me said, how wrong. Did they know he tried to replace you, Abe. He showed up for work and there was another person there, guy. <laughs> did you miss, right? No, no, no. You ain't going to make everybody happy no matter what, even I though we're telling the truth. I see. Abe, you ain't lying, are you? Nah, nah. Because I didn't even know about that. Wow, I'm just hearing Abe about ain't lying. I ain't shocked you got played, dog. That's what motherfuckers do. I'm a, we got, man, Abe, I just had to let people know that. I don't even want to dwell on this too much longer, but I'm here to tell you. When you told me, when you left with your shit, because somebody else was there, who shit he had to use? That was just a little snippet of it. Y'all really want to catch it, y'all go to the Corey Holcomb show, 5150, well, Corey Holcomb, 5150 show. The way I look at it, I like them together as a duo, but this typically does happen with Corey. He'll have people on his show for years and he might say some stuff that they might actually took to heart and be like, you know what? And they start, as time going on, they start to feel some type of way and then it blows up into this, but I'm not picking no side. I'm just giving a little opinion, but man, it's your boy Cooper, my channel about love, life and loyalty. And some of them say knowledge, wisdom, understand. I'll catch y'all on the next one. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? My end, kill a nigga playing both sides I'm locked in so you know that the rope tied